G'day YouTube. What I'm doing today is I'm going to show you the process I use when I process my milk bottles. Okay, what I do is I I put hot water. I've got this zip tap here, which uses hot water. Put hot water in the bottle. I shake it. It gets really hot. All right. Then what I do is. Then when it's hot, the label will just peel off. It won't just peel off, but you'll you'll have to peel it off. And it it comes off not too bad, but it still leaves residue on the bottle. Alright, so what I then do is since we still have hot water in the in the bottle layer, I pour the hot water into it into another container. Alright, get rid of that bottle, put the lid on again, and this cleans the, the contents on the inside. Just be careful, it gets quite hot. Alright, so this one here, this label, what we do is we peel the label off. Sometimes that happens, the label doesn't come completely off. That's okay. Then all we do is we just pour the contents of this into another bottle and we'll just keep going. Depending on how many bottles you got. Just be careful of your finger in here because when the when there's hot water in the bottle it expands. Alright. There's three bottles. Okay, then we go on to our next step. Probably see here on this one here the milk bottle starting to peel. So all we do is we just peel it off. And there we go. The hot water helps, helps us soften the glue, and we just peel them off like that. Bottle's hot. Then we pour the contents into another bottle. And we continue the same process. Just be careful of the hot water, you don't want to burn yourself. Bit of an involved process, but just peel them off. Sometimes they won't come off, which is all right. Just come off better when there's hot water in the bowl. There you go. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut off our separate the lids from the um, the bottles. Now we've got to separate this little um, uh, ring. So what we do is we cut the bottle, and the ring comes off. Do the next bottle. Watch your fingers. Pull the ring off and get it. Alright, next bottle. A pair of scissors would do quite a quite a right. This nice blunt. I don't know why it is. Alright. There's our ring gone. Okay, what you'll notice here is that I didn't didn't get off one of my um, labels. Alright, that's not a worry at this stage. Try and peel as much, as much off as you can. Alright, and on to step three. 
Okay, the next step involves cutting the uh, milk bottle in half. All right, get our knife. Just be careful, it's it'll be quite sharp. Okay, what I normally do is I cut straight through the, um, the handle. Just be careful doing this bit. You don't want the knife to break on you. All right, run down that side. So that's almost half, half now. Okay, the bottom of the milk containers normally um, has more plastic in it. So what you can do is you just run around the bottom of it, just like that. Right, you have two bits. Okay, what you can also do too is just cut off this bottom bit. Remember knives are sharp, so just be very careful. Or a brand new knife would actually help much better. Alright, so you have this bit, got this bit, and the other bottom bit. Alright, so what we do now is we do this to all the other uh, bottles that you've got. It might be three, might be ten, whatever. Alright, you do that, then the next step. Once I have a selection of these cut up, what I do then is I fill the sink with some water. Some hot water. Dishwashing liquid. And what I'll do is, as you can see, some of these are still dirty. I'll give them another clean. I'll give them a scrub with the scrubbing brush. Don't need a lot of water. I'll do that both sides, just depending on how long you've had the, the bottles laying around. They could be a bit dirty, which some of them aren't. Fine candy. All right. So basically, there we go. It's it's cleaned. Give it a rinse. And all you need to do now is cut this up, and then you can um, put it into your plastic pile. Once you cut the milk bottle up into bits, you can then add it to your pile of the already processed uh, milk bottle material. Alright. I've had this, as you can see here, I've had a... Uh, uh, my chickens have been in this pile. It puts a mess in it. Ah, bloody chickens. Well, no, all we do is to clean this, we'll just we'll just um, take it out and we'll just rewash this, and there you go. Right, so what you do is you cut this up into bits, little bits like this. The smaller it is, the better it is. Then it won't, in theory, won't take as long, but it still takes time to melt the plastic. So it's up to you. All right, as long as you as long as you clean your milk bowl material, you should be fine. Won't have a problem there. 